Hey everybody, welcome back to Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Today we are making these beautiful beef ribs in my pressure cooker. They're going to be amazing. Please check out this video. Give this thumbs up. Let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do today, I've got some big old beef ribs. They have been kind of pre-seasoned. Uh, at HEB, it is just a salt or salt and pepper seasoning on it, but we're going to add a little bit more to kick it up a little bit. I am using my Power XL uh, Pro pressure cooker because my pot is not big enough for all this. So they're going to cook for hours, even under pressure, because I want them falling off the bone and just amazingly good. But the first thing I'm going to do is cut them in half, just simply so we will have room. Look at the marbling on that. I'm just gonna throw some stuff in here. We're gonna let it cook uh, at least two hours, if not longer. I'll check it at two hours, see if it needs to go a little bit more, but I really want these just falling off the bone. So this is what we're gonna do. I've got some of the competition pa uh, cow powder by Uncle Steve Shakes. If you're not familiar with Uncle Steve Shakes, I'll leave, leave a link in the description below. I love all of his, his seasonings. He's got a ton. A bunch of them, probably my favorite one's the Gator Shake, but this one is really good for beef as well. I'm just adding a little bit to it because these are pretty seasoned anyway, but I just want to give it a little bit of a, a kick. Okay, we're going to throw this in the pressure cooker, and you can do this in the Instant Pot too. This is... This thing is just bigger than my Instapot, and that's the main reason I'm using it. I also have a ton of banana peppers that need to be used. I'm going to leave them whole. Just cut the ends off and throw them in there. You could use any pepper you wanted to. If you want it more spicy, throw a jalapeno in there. I'll, I love the, We love the flavor of the banana peppers, and these need desperately to be used. So... All right, got that in there. I'm gonna cut up an onion real quick. And with this, I'm just gonna put a rough chop on it because it doesn't matter. Because it's gonna basically fall apart anyway. Because it's gonna be cooking for so long. All right. Let's talk sauces. I've got two deals of Worcestershire sauce. This one's almost empty, so that's why that's out. I'm going to pour a little bit of liquid smoke on here. Since we can't cook them out on the grill. Because right now, we don't own a grill. Except my uh, smokeless grill. Well, let me use this first. Probably don't need much more than that with this one. Just kind of cover everything up. And then I'm going to put chicken broth in it. Now, if you have your own beef broth, chicken broth, broth, whatever, go with it. And I've used most of this box maybe three quarters. All right, we're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna cook this for at least, like I said, two hours. I'll bring you back, show you how these turned out. I think you're gonna like them. All right, we'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, before we open this up, I wanna tell you about some big things that are fixing to come to Mama's East Texas Kitchen. Be sure and tune in tomorrow. If you're watching this later than this date, catch it on the replay. Sept or, yeah. September 4th, um, at 9.30 Central Time in the morning, come hang out with us because we got some really big announcements we want to make, and so I hope to see you guys there. All right, let's open this up. Now, they've cooked for about an hour, and I'll let it natu naturally release. Oh, they smell good. They smell real good. I'm going to take one out. Oh, yeah, they're going to fall apart. Out. That bone already fell off. I'm gonna take it out, 
So this is already kind of set here for a minute. Look at that. Look, look at that. That's just, that is some good eating. Now, if you wanted to take this a step further, you could put it on a sheet pan, throw it in your broiler, throw some barbecue sauce on it. We're going to eat these just like this right here. So thank you for joining us today on Mama's East Texas Kitchen. You like this video? I've got some more Instapot videos right here waiting on you. We'll see you on the next video.